I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, coming to you today from Waterford, Connecticut, outside Hillier's Tackle Shop. And we've got some really, really good black fishing going on right now inside Long Island Sound. Uh, and really the epicenter of some of the bigger fish that are being caught is right out here outside of Niantic River, Niantic Bay, Two Tree uh, Island, that general area. As we've reported already, there's been two fish in excess of 20 pounds landed. We got the new uh, state record that was caught a couple of weeks ago on the Sunbeam. And about a week and a half ago, we had another fish that had not that earlier fish been landed, would have been the new state record. So two giant black fish taken in this area recently and a bunch of fish into the teens so it's really some big blackfish being taken where it is they're starting to move out into some of the slightly deeper waters 20 say 30 feet deep um, you know, still some fish in shallow on the break walls but those spots are really starting to get picked over now so recommend moving on to some of the deeper water spots of Long Island Sound However, there's also still some bass and bluefish being taken inside the sound. Most of them I've been hearing about are on the somewhat small side, schoolie bass, smaller harbor blues, the occasional bigger fish. Now, if you want to find some of those bigger fish, what you're going to have to do is either one, just keep working the schools of bunker and hope you find one that's got a big uh, school of bass or bluefish on it, or make this transition and start working the tidal rivers where the striped bass hold over for the winter, the Thames, Connecticut, Housatonic, and so on. As those bass are really starting to move up in there and and get ready to hang out for the winter. Uh, speaking of some of the smaller fish we've been hearing about, got word of a uh, nice, nice catch made by Lauren Lundvall. She was fishing off of Fairfield with her family earlier in the week and they got a nice steady bite again of some schoolie bass and some bluefish, so congrats on that. And moving on into Rhode Island, we got lots and lots of short blackfish being caught. Uh, getting word of some guys, you know, some boats getting 30, 40, 50, even 60 shorts. Uh, picking through those, they are getting their limits. You know, there's still some pretty good sized fish. Uh, one of the biggest we heard of recently in Rhode Island was a 15 pounder landed aboard the Francis fleet that week. However, what they've been battling with, as we all have, is the weather. So when they can get out, they're finding plenty of fish. Uh, but not every day is allowing them to get out. We got some strong winds that obviously came through last week. It was supposed to be really nice this week. Obviously today it's a bit, a little, little cooler, a little bit cloudy. It's solid frost today, but you know what? That's foul fishing here in New England. And another item of note, sea bass fish in Rhode Island water is just about as good as it gets. There are lots and lots of sea bass around. Um, easy limits are being reported. I mean, it, no time at all you're able to limit out on your sea bass. A lot of anglers are even saying they're throwing back those just keepers looking to fill their limits a three and four pound fish and mixed in with both the blackfish as well as the sea bass we're still getting a good shot of cod on the inshore grounds even getting word a couple of guys off of Newport getting cod off of their kayak so really good cod numbers going on right now. Then on up in Massachusetts, I'd be remiss if I once, didn't once again mention the wicked tu good tuna fishing going on in the Gulf of Maine right now. Many boats are coming into the dock with two and three legit giants. The only real limiting factor is, has been uh, Mother Nature's wind machine, which has been in high gear at times over the last few weeks. It's the same winds that are hampering the black fishing, uh, Rhode Island, Connecticut. It's hurting the guys trying to get out on the tuna grounds. However, when they are able to get out, it's just been pretty much lock and lope. Some really big fish being caught. And lastly, up on the North Shore of Massachusetts, it's been a downright awesome smelt run with anglers easily catching their 50 fish limits in places like Revere, East Boston, Winthrop, Chelsea, Charleston, South Boston, and so on. Pete Santini, a fishing fanatic, has said this is one of the best uh, seasons he's seen in a long time for smelt, and he has a solid supply of grass shrimp to tip on your Swedish pimples and sabiki rigs if you want to go get in on these tasty fall treats. So there you have it. That's this week's fishing forecast for the weekend. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.